Julie, thank you for coming on such short notice. You are very welcome, George. How can I help? Well, we have been learning about high junker or load leveling. And, we have come to the conclusion that it does not apply to us. Oh? You never experience unevenness in your workload? Yes, uh, no. You see, we are different. We are a job shop. Each job we receive is different. So, I don't understand how the idea of high junker applies to us. We tried to envision a high junker box in our factory, and it turned into a nightmare. I see. Well, George. Leveling the workload is a general principle within Lean and the Toyota production system, but it must be applied in an appropriate way. A standard high junker box has some specific applications, but implementing that would be getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start with the purpose behind load leveling. We level the workload in order to create a level value stream, which means we will have less inventory and waiting times, shorter lead times, and less chaos within the value stream. Right. I think. In a job shop, what does leveling the workload mean? I really don't know. Well, the goal is to ensure that we output an even amount of work each hour, each day, each week, and so on. One way to accomplish this within a job shop or any custom environment including some administrative work is to create categories of jobs that come through. Categories? Yes. For example, you might divide jobs into categories by complexity. Highly complex jobs might be those that exceed a certain number of hours in the factory. Yes. I see. Medium complexity jobs might consume fewer hours. Let us say between 10 and 20. And low complexity jobs might be the ones that consume fewer than 10. Exactly. Then, we would look at the proportion of time spent on each of these types of jobs. Perhaps 20% of our time is on highly complex jobs, 40% is on medium. And the remaining 40% is spent on low complexity jobs. Yes, I see. We would divide the workload so that we schedule or release an even mix of work into the factory proportionally based on these categories. Yes. I get it. By doing that, we would output a mix of work that matches the mix of orders we receive from our customers. We may sometimes receive a bunch of high complexity orders from our customers in one day, and on other days we might receive no high complexity and all easy orders. Right. But the mix of work we perform would adhere to the predetermined proportions. This would create an evenness of work in the factory. Almost a pattern. Absolutely brilliant. Exactly. Level loading is creating a logical pattern out of what might appear to be chaos. Incoming customer orders are chaotic typically. High junk can make sense of it. Wow. Where did you learn about all of this? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group in Carlsbad, California. www.emsstrategies.com They offer training, advisory assistance, and lots of online resources. Excellent. Julie, you are a lifesaver. www.emsstrategies.com I must remember that. I'm glad I could be of help.